Well, welcome back. Here's what's going on from Studio A today as we focus in on, well, politics, quite honestly. And it's funny, we were talking about this not too long ago, the fact that the political cycle used to be every two years, every four years, and that's when names would come about and all the elections would get into full swing. Well, with today's technology, that's different. Talking politics and learning about politics is something that is 365, seven days a week, 24 hours a day right now. And as a matter of fact, we're going to introduce you to some of that technology here today. Joel Westrom's with us here. He's the chairman for the 1st Congressional District of the uh, Republican Party of the state of Michigan. Welcome to Studio A. Mark, thanks for having me. Interesting setup we've got here with a large, literally talking head behind <laughs> us. Why don't you go ahead and, and introduce what we're doing here because uh, it has a lot to do with technology and some of the advancements uh, the, the, that your party is using. Well, you know, uh, Mark, as it, being up here in the 1st Congressional District, we've always had a challenge with people interacting up here because of the distance from Lansing and the rest of Michigan. And as the chairman, one of the things I really thought was important and uh, is incorporating technology to help us communicate a lot better. I was working very closely with our chairman, Saul Nuzis, who's here this evening today via video conference on a system we set up uh, to uh, help us better communicate and keep us in touch. So here we have behind us here is uh, Saul. Hello, welcome. Good to be with you guys. Great. Just from your point of view, uh, Mr. Anusis here, this type of technology does what for you being down in Lansing and communicating with people like Joel in this part of the state? Uh, this is fantastic. I mean, uh, you know, when Joel first brought this up to me, uh, I had actually heard of Skype earlier and, and uh, hadn't had an opportunity to use it, but uh, this has been great. We've been able to have discussions with county executive committee meetings. Uh, Joel and I have used this almost on a daily basis to touch base. Uh, share ideas, uh, we can pick up a sticker and say, take a look at what we're doing or, or what do you think of this graphic, et cetera. So this has been a tremendous opportunity for us to communicate directly, uh, be interactive. Uh, I've literally done this from my car. Uh, the technology is such that with a wireless connection, I can be in my car working on the email, get logged in and, and someone over Skype can get back with me and say, you know, here's what we're doing this afternoon or we're having this meeting at lunch or can you address us at a luncheon? And we've been able to do that. Uh, one time, Dick and, Dick DeVos and I were actually uh, down in Detroit for a meeting, and uh, one, of the, one of the counties up north that Joel was at was having a county meeting, and they asked me if I'd call in and say hi. And I said hi, and I got up out of my chair and said, let me introduce a special guest who wants to say hi and thank you. And Dick was able to sit down and thank everybody for what they did and say hi to them as well. So we're going to try to incorporate this not only for the party, but for some of our elected officials, for our leadership. And this will be a great way for grassroots volunteers, people who care, who want to be involved, to hear firsthand what people think and what's going on around the state. Not just in the Upper Peninsula, but you know, Michigan being so geographically large, this must be a, a terrific uh, advantage uh, in a lot of ways. But just from you, how important is communication right now? Because we've gotten into this state of mind where if it's not instant, it's not important. Is that kind of where this, uh, this idea is going to be uh, taking you? Yeah, to a large extent. Look, it's critical that the grassroots understand what's going on. Um, I, when I became chairman, this is my second term, I just got reelected, but my first term in, my biggest issue was really democratizing information. Uh, you know, Joel had a, had a challenge of getting the information up to the UP and, uh, and, and some of the other remote areas with respects to where we are from a political standpoint here in Lansing, but even just to get general information out to the grassroots was a challenge. And so, you know, first I started sending out daily emails, uh, then we started sending out summaries of all the uh, news clips and my commentary. And so right now, every single day, literally thousands of people who subscribe uh, receive my commentary every morning. Uh, we have updates on the blog daily. We do interactive stuff with the video conferencing at least two to three times a week uh, with different counties, different parties around the state. So this is a really good opportunity for us to keep people involved instantaneously. If something is happening, I can literally go on, make a commentary, get it out on the internet, and we can use it all over the state, all over the country uh, instantaneously. So it is a, it's, it's a different way of doing things, and I think it's, it's the, the way things will happen in the future much more often. I know, I know it's early in the stage here, and Joel, I suppose you can chime in on this one too. Are you feeling that you're kind of leading the charge here? Because uh, this is the sort of thing that other people are gonna see and say, hey, wait a minute. 
Not a bad idea. Yeah, let me are tell you seeing the blueprint already? We're seeing the blueprint. We're getting a lot of attention. We follow the uh, technology and we monitor what's going on out there. And there is definitely a buzz out there. The Excel has seen it. I have seen it. Other people have commented about the, the Democrats out there commenting, going, wow, what's Michigan doing out there? Where are they leading? we got to get up with this. Well, that was three months ago, and they still haven't. We have yet to see anything pop up yet, Saul, but I know that they're, right. talking, they're talking about what we have going on up here and uh, very uh, leading the way. And it will make the difference in getting people more engaged in our area. Area. Saul made a trip uh, just a few months back up here to get through personally because he makes a lot of trips up to the UP and that took about three days I think just to get through the area I mean he's 12 hours right. away right now but now since that time you've probably more hours you've had invested with Skype going to Manistique uh, for a meeting there uh, he was up in Marquette he was in a couple of other locations so he's been able to get out there where that just wasn't available before so that's really made an impact and people felt people connected and we're pretty proud of it do you feel like it's kind of tied everything together Saul Absolutely. Look, last year I averaged about 900 miles a week on the road. Uh, five to six days a week I was on the road meeting with activists and, and, and uh, you know donors and people around the state. Now I can literally, during a day, not only still be on the road, but multiply really my ability to contact and, and, and talk to people. And I think as Joel has mentioned earlier, you know, we talk about how people are starting to pay attention. I mean, in the last two weeks, uh, the Washington State Party, Republican Party has called us, the Nevada State Party has called us, Arizona, California is starting to use some of the same technology we are. So not only are we getting noticed here in the state, but around the country, other parties are going, how do you do this? Why do you do this? And when we explain to them how easy it is and how accessible it is, people really like it. And I think if uh, you'll find this becoming more and more of a staple in politics, especially at the local level, and anybody who has a long drive, this makes a really difference. I mean, being able to interact the way you and I are today here is really a huge advantage in just getting something even in the email these days or reading something on the, on the internet. Well, the next step for this obviously is what is the next step or is this too much in its infancy to even dream that far down the road? Well, I think there's gonna be a lot of new next steps. I mean, pretty soon we'll be able to do 30 second video messages that are sent directly to your telephones, uh, to your PDFs. Uh, PDAs, I'm sorry, uh, there will be, you know, there's a lot of things coming down down the pike that I think we'll be using more and more, but this is a pretty, this is pretty early. Uh, as you can tell from the technology, it's still not perfect, uh, but this has one of my favorite words attached to it, it's free. Uh, we're able to do this cost effectively and make sure that, you know, it's not costing the, the party anything, it's not costing the taxpayers anything, it's we're using existing technology, existing internet connections to do this, and it really is a huge advantage. So. This will develop, it will become more more flexible, easier to do. Uh, you know, even when we were hooking up today, look, we had a call back two or three times, make sure we had a good connection. That's kind of part of the problem. It's still not as convenient as just picking up the phone and talking to somebody, but, but close. But Joel, now that you see this in, uh, in practice, it's got to be pretty exciting for you. Oh, it's very exciting. Of course, Saul was able to attend our Marquette Reagan Day dinner here with a special guest, Carl Rove. He was able to present. People were very impressed with it. They were certainly impressed with Carl Rove, but I heard just as many good things about, wow, the chairman was also here via, via video conference. They didn't expect that. And that was just as much of a buzz what we're doing here as, as having somebody from the White House. So we're real excited that we're on the right track. And these are things that are going to be very helpful just to help us stay engaged in what's going on and, and, uh, and really make a difference in the 2008 elections. I guess i got to ask you this here. What does this mean for, you know, Joe Lunchbucket, you know, the average person uh, here in the Upper Peninsula? What does this mean for, for us? Opportunity to engage with the legislators like they haven't been before. I think a lot of people up here say, you know, we just, we're just connected and they just kind of given up. They'll never have an opportunity to engage with the Saul Nuzis or Secretary of the State or the Attorney General or a legislator. Uh, now they'll have an opportunity to come to a room, 10, 12 people. People, and they'll be able to have a, a back and forth and give their viewpoint of what they think should be going on in Michigan. And that makes people feel connected. That will get them engaged. That will help us a lot make a difference in Michigan. If the question's on this, what's the best way to find you? Well, the best way is to visit our website, uh, MarqueteGOP.com or uh, First gop.com uh, those are two great areas uh, to, to come up to sign up and get on uh, certainly the, the district's uh, daily email but also Saul's uh, daily email he sends out uh, every day seven days a week great information and you'll hear more about this stuff on that